Good morning traders, uh, welcome to this demonstration of the FX Argo Trader real-time multi-currency daily range analyzer. Uh, today's date is the uh, 6th of May, time is 10.34 GMT by the way. So what we can see here is the range analyzer looking at the market on a macro level. So we can see there are 32 pairs um, displayed on this chart. Um, we've taken the whole chart over, so the the, the indicator basically is set by using a uh, predefined template, which you can very quickly load, and th th you'll see this this um, display on any chart you choose. So the idea is you would dedicate one chart for the analyzer output. You can see the ATR ranges here are shown as as each pair basically displays its ATR in the form of a histogram, and we can see that uh, any pairs which have basically gone through their their typical average true range on a daily basis. So at the moment we've got uh, Euro, Aussie Dollar, Sterling, Aussie Dollar, Aussie Dollar, CAD, and Aussie Swiss, Aussie US Dollar, and Aussie Kiwi, um, which have all blown through their their typical daily range. So these pairs which have got a common denominator of the Aussie dollar all exhibiting uh, wide range days. More interesting moving down is if we look at the trend indication we can see an immediate trend indication for the pair and then beneath that we can see there are high frequency counts and average frequency counts over a five bar period and that's both both for high frequencies and low frequencies. And what these tell us is how many times uh, a pair is breaking new highs or new lows within a five bar period. So this is key because it gives us an indication of where the market is moving quickly. So I mean you can see these numbers here are pretty outstanding. I mean we've got a high frequency count on uh, sterling Swiss franc um, it's over the last five bars, and this is on a, a four hourly chart, we've seen basically sterling making new highs against this Swiss franc 18 times. So if we look at the sterling Swiss franc chart, we can see that our indicator has confirmed that indeed we are in a fairly aggressive uptrend um, after a, a level of consolidation and so on. So if we look at the next column along, sterling Canadian dollar, this is a little bit more interesting because we can see we've got a high frequency count of 17 uh, within the last four hours. So basically it's made 17 new highs in the last four hours, but also it's made five new lows in the last four hours. And over the last uh, five chart periods, which is 20 hours, it's made three new highs and one new low. So this would appear from statistics it would indicate that the pair is possibly range bound so let's have a look at it if we go to sterling canadian dollar yeah we can see basically it's beginning to well let's just zoom into the detail a little bit it's pretty choppy so we, we've we've had a little a, an attempt at a breakout here and then we've had a, a low here and then we've had a, a resumption of the downtrend by the looks of things so again that might be a bit tricky to trade unless you are particularly keen on on trading some range band conditions. So that's carrying on our analysis. So moving further along to the high numbers, um, we can see US dollar Swiss franc. We've got 37 new highs in the last four hours. Um, we've got eight new highs over the last 20 hours. Remember, we're looking at a four hour chart here, and there are no lows registered. So this would indicate that the US dollar is in an uptrend against the Swiss franc. So let's have a look at that to confirm. It's pretty clear. Um, we can see that there's some fairly strong upward movement here. So uh, again, a good candidate to potentially trade uh, long, and you'd be probably looking to buy off a retest of these highs here. Um, so you'd be looking to basically go at this, this effectively um, resistance becomes support, and you'd obviously confirm this using additional tools such as um, multi-time frame pivots and so on. So uh, that would be potentially a good trading candidate. So long US dollar Swiss franc. I suspect long US dollar is going to be the order of the day. Moving on the chart to US dollar Canadian dollar. 37 new highs in the last four hours. We just seen to the left there US dollar Swiss franc just making some new highs. 
um, and we can see the av number of highs over the last 20 hours has been 7, no lows whatsoever, confirmed by the zeros in the low frequency columns here, low frequency count, sorry. Um, so again, let's just have a quick look to confirm USD CAD. Yeah, slightly more complicated this one. Um, it's obviously been making a lot of highs, but it looks like it may be consolidating now. Um, there's been a rejection of that test there. Not so attractive in terms of a trade. And CAD Swiss franc. This is pretty active, but again, we can see the, the spread of data here. Um, 51 highs in the last f four hours, 10 lows in the last four hours. Um, suspect it's range band, so let's have a quick look to confirm. CAD Swiss franc. Uh, yeah, we can see it's actually coming out of its. There's obviously a bit of whipsaw action around here, but it looks like it's beginning to tidy itself up a bit and go. It looks fairly clean for the, from the long side. So again, you'd be looking to layer in multi-time frame pivots, possibly fibs, and potentially go long on a test of this support level here, which is quite nice because you can see the the two highs there coupling up quite nicely with those lows back in over in uh, around 3rd of May um, and yeah we're looking at potentially a price action needs to come down by approximately 20 odd pips before we could potentially go long there that's a fairly low risk entry so maybe CAD Swiss franc might line itself up and so we've so you can see basically we've gone through the existing pairs and looked at the high frequency data to, to try and analyze which pairs are offering opportunity. Obviously this is a fluid picture, constantly fluid picture. We've just seen here Sterling, uh, Sterling uh, New Zealand dollar has just started to perk up a bit. Um, we've seen 12 new highs in the last four hours, no lows whatsoever. So again, that's probably a, a good candidate to investigate. Remember, the, this is just, this is not uh, giving you trade signals is giving you uh, an indication of where to explore further at a macro level so rather than scrolling through tons of charts you can look at this indicator and very quickly see what's going on over across the market at a macro level and then um, use this to make your or to focus on the pairs which have got the most opportunity moving down to looking at some of the other data we can see we, obviously the system gives us the ATR which is based upon a 14 day um, period. It tells you the number of pips left based on the typical ATR. Um, this is can be quite important, particularly at the end of the day, because you don't want to be trading into something which has got no more potential left in it. However, at the beginning of the day or around this sort of time, quarter to 11 GMT, if a pair has bust through its, AT, its, its average true range, you know, it's about 147.5% for the Euro Aussie dollar, um, Sometimes you'll get pairs which will do massively wide-ranging days and go into the 200% over ATR, etc. Good example was yesterday, in fact. So uh, it's not necessarily um, uh, you shouldn't necessarily not trade it just because it says you know you've got negative pips left. It depends on the time of the day, basically, and it depends on how strong the, the movements are within the market. So moving down a bit further, we can see the best range. It's giving us an indication saying that the, the pair with the widest available range left is Sterling Kiwi Dollar. And again, that's quite an attractive play because we've just seen it starting to make new highs. So let's have a quick look at that chart. Okay, so we're looking at the Sterling Kiwi Dollar chart. Uh, this is a 30 minute chart. I just put a, um, a just a rough trend line in there um, and let's just wind out a little bit um, of the price action and we can see it's been uh, in a fairly aggressive uptrend um, since the 3rd of May um, that uptrend was broken at this point here which was uh, yesterday at 21.30 so it's come down, it's tested this level here which has provided some support we've bounced and we're now testing this downward trend line here by the looks of things 
this trend line doesn't have a great deal of significance because I've just drawn it over this 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 rejection of price here. Um, we we'll need to wait and see how price unfolds here a bit before we kind of draw too many conclusions. But if we can start to see it making con consistent new highs on a short time frame, it may be a good opportunity to trade long uh, on the basis that the this this uptrend that we've seen previously may resume. Uh, again, you'd need to layer in additional. Um, tools such as multi time frame pivots, fibs, etc. So anyway, that hopefully gives you an indication of how a range analysis um, tool used at the beginning of the trading day can help you to to focus your attention on pairs which are exhibiting significant opportunity. Again, this is a, a fluid picture and so the tool will also tell you uh, or give you an alert based upon a high frequency system. And to explain that a little bit more in a bit more detail, if we look at the inputs for the range analyzer, we can control all sorts of things like vertical positions of the display. We've got an alert threshold here. So if we see any pairs which get more than 20 um, changes within a, a set period, 20 changes either to the frequencies, you'll get an alert, an on-screen alert saying there's a high frequency alert for X pair. Um, and so on and then we can reset the frequency counter on each new bar um, and you've got to also obviously all your colors here you can control the basically the, all the on-screen colors and then you can also control which pairs are within the overall analysis basket so if you don't trade certain things um, you can reduce the, uh, the amount of data on the screen and also lower the overhead on your MT4 um, client um, in terms of processing power um, by just restricting the number of, uh, of pairs which are displayed. So this is a pretty uh, a rough um, uh, ad-libbed um, demonstration of the indicator. Uh, it's um, quite interesting um, from my perspective in terms of the amount of insight it actually provides because um, essentially you're seeing uh, a range analysis, you're seeing also a trend indication and you're also seeing a breakout indicator as well, all wrapped up into one. So uh, hopefully that um, that provides uh, some some uh, explanation of how the indicator works in practice. Thanks very much for listening, and please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. The email address is info at fxargotrader.com. Thank you for listening.